So Intel's new faster lineup of the ARC GPUs are going to be priced very, very similar to Nvidia's RTX 4000 series GPUs to make it a more competitive GPU market, quote unquote, which in all honesty, I think is a pretty safe bet to say is going to end up happening especially for a new lineup of gpus and there is some benchmarks of these arc gpus that i was going to make a video on a couple of days ago but i never ended up uploading it because i wasn't 100 percent sure whether or not those were accurate but it does look like those are accurate so the benchmarks and all that kind of stuff will be on screen for all of you wondering what kind of performance these are going to give you inside of specific games. However, let's continue reading this Tech Radar article. Intel has dropped a hint regarding how much its higher end ARC graphics cards are going to cost. So the next three paragraphs are a bunch of nonsensical bullcrap that none of us want to know about. So let's continue with the paragraph regarding the information we actually want inside of our ears we can glean that the a770 roughly matches the value of the 12700k processor and the same should be true for the a750 regarding the 12600k processor currently the msrps of those processors are 409 dollars and then 289 dollars respectively in the US. And then the second portion of this article is going over the analysis and putting all of the pieces together regarding the prices of the ARC GPUs, which will of course be on screen, but it's really just like five paragraphs that is explaining how they came up with the pricing of these new Intel ARC GPUs. There is something that I want to cover with you regarding the 4000 series GPUs that was left in a comment from one of you on the release date for these graphics cards which is kind of common sense and it's like in the back of our mind but having it put out there and actually reading it with my eyeballs it was like oh yeah like that's actually very true so nvidia has delayed the 40 series gpus yes i'm well aware chip shortages probably have something to do with that but also there's been a lot of people talking about how Nvidia is trying to get rid of the 30 series GPUs and there is a reason for that. For those of you that have been keeping up to date with the videos, the 4070 is supposed to be competing with a 3090 and the 3080 Ti. The 70 series of Nvidia's GPUs have always been extremely affordable right around the 500 to 600 dollar price range so a 500 to 600 dollar graphics card competing with a graphics card that's almost 1500 dollars i'm pretty sure that's what the 3090 is you can pick up a 3080 right now for 1200 dollars on like places like amazon and all of that but i would not recommend doing that right now until we know more about the 40 series gpus because of what i just barely said the 4070 being able to compete with the 3080 ti and the 3090 even if you go to somewhere like amazon or ebay and you pick up one of those graphics cards it is still going to be a waste of money because you could have gotten a 4070 at one third the price brand spanking new that can compete with the graphics card that you just went and bought if the 40 series benchmark and all of that stuff were announced right now and they didn't try to clear out the market the 30 series graphics cards that are on the market would not sell so i'm very excited for the 40 series gpus specifically for video editing and video rendering plus now that i gave my pc to one of you i can actually build a computer with you on the channel which is going to be awesome because building pcs very fun thing to do however Hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already check out one of these videos that are on screen maybe we'll catch you guys in the next one peace